So I was thinking it would be kind of cool to just do a quick little video here all about object tracking in Final Cut Pro. So I'm just going to show you a quick couple of ways to object track. So I hope that you're excited to get started. Let's dive in. Now over here in Final Cut Pro, I have a video clip in here that's just of a car driving through the street here. So I'm just gonna add that to my timeline. And there's a couple of ways that we can do object tracking in Final Cut Pro. Now one of them is to use the magnetic mask. And you've seen me do this before in other videos, but basically if I wanted to colorize that car, I could just drag the actual colorize effect onto the car and it will then create a magnetic mask so i can kind of cl click on that drop it and then it will apply the magnetic mask and then we would just analyze this and have the magnetic mask track the car across and it would colorize the car like that now if you wanted to colorize just the car itself then the magnetic mask would be a great way to do that because then it would just be able to select the car itself and it would only colorize the car itself but if you wanted to colorize the car and the space around it and maybe have like a colorized dot over top of the car then using the object tracker might be a better way to do that so to add the actual colorize effect as an object tracker we would do it the same way that we did with the magnetic mask but when we go to pull it over here to drop it on if you hold down the control key it's now going to change it to be an object tracker instead of the magnetic mask now if you let go of the command key then it will be magnetic mask if you hold the command key it will be object tracker so that's kind of a nice quick little way to be able to switch between them and if we drop Drop that here on top of our car, maybe right about here. That's going to create an object tracker on top of the car that's associated to the actual video. And it's applying that colorize effect around it here. And so we just kind of want to reshape this a little bit so it's more like the shape of the car. I'm going to kind of pull it up and be maybe right about there. Okay, and then all we have to do is analyze this. So if you click analyze, it's gonna go through the process of actually analyzing the object tracker across the screen. Now this is gonna be way faster than like the magnetic mask, although even the magnetic mask is very fast, this is going to be significantly faster. Again, I have an Intel Series Mac, so it's slower on my computer, but on your computer, if you have an M Series Mac, especially if you have the latest, this is just gonna like fly by. But now we have this object tracked analysis here. And if we play through this now, you can see that now we have our red colorized dot over top of the car and it's following it across using the object tracker. So that's a really quick and simple way to do some object tracking using some sort of an effect. If you just wanna drop that effect onto your object, hold down the command key, you can use the object tracker and then it will just track your actual object. Now I'm going to remove the colorize effect from this because we're not going to do that. We're going to actually go back because sometimes you might want to have like as the car is going across, we might want to have like some text that's actually following the car and giving some information. So I'm going to show you how to do that too really quick. So what we're going to need here is we're going to need an object tracker again. Okay, so we're going to find an actual part where the car is kind of out here and it's visible. And now we're going to add an object tracker to that car. So we're going to scroll down to the very bottom of the properties on that clip. And then we're going to choose trackers and we're going to click the plus to add an object tracker. Now we're gonna move that over top of the center of the car like this, and you wanna use an object that has a lot of contrast. And because this car is white and it's very contrasted to the actual background of it, the object tracker is gonna work here. Now if you tried to like do something that was the same color as the road or something like that, it would be much more difficult for the object tracker to work here. But in our case, it's got a lot of contrast, so we're gonna select that object there. We're gonna resize this down so it kind of fits the actual size of the car maybe like that. We want this to actually just kind of sit over top of that because when the car gets over here to the right, it's gonna go around the corner and we wanna make sure that the actual object tracker is still fitting in the scene. Okay, now we have the object tracker on there. We're gonna hit the analyze button and it's just gonna go through the process of analyzing our actual object track. And you can see because we resized it, it actually went around the corner and stayed on the car. So that's what we wanted. Someday I'm gonna have a better Mac. Now that our object has been tracked, we actually have a tracker to follow with our text. So what we have to do now is create the text. And there's a million different other plugins and titles and things out there that will give you this kind of text, but we're just gonna create it in Final Cut Pro so that you don't have to download anything extra here. So we're gonna go over to our titles here and we're just gonna add a basic title and we'll just add some basic text in here like this. We'll just kind of put our car out here like that. And we're just gonna change the text to the word suspect. We'll kind of imagine that this is a suspect driving across the street here. 
and we'll resize this so we'll kind of like resize this down here so that the actual box is smaller we're going to resize the actual text maybe down to something like that I'm just gonna resize this down so it fits with it and then we're just gonna kind of move this up to maybe like right around here and now we want to have just a white line that's coming off of the text pointing at the car over here so the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna close my titles open up my generators I'm just gonna grab a solid white here like this I'm actually put this between these like that and we're just gonna resize this actual generator so we've come up here to properties we're gonna scale it on the X and actually I'm just gonna type this in here we're gonna do it down to point two so that it's just kind of a thin white line and then we're going to scale the actual height of this way down we'll probably go down to about yeah that's probably good right there I think I'll actually make it like 10% like that okay and so now we have this kind of short white line that we can adjust and change around and if we click on our actual transform tool over here we can now kind of move this around and angle it so I'm going to just move it so it's like this and actually I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna turn off the transform tool here I'm gonna click my text and I'm just gonna bring this up so that the line and the word suspect kind of touch each other and the line is pointing to the car like that and now what I'm gonna do is pull all of these out to the entire length of the clip like this and then I'm going to group these together so that they're all just kind of one object so I'm gonna select them both I'm gonna hold down the option key and hit G and that's gonna make a compound click and we'll just call that text like that and now we have a single clip here that's our text and the line that we can apply to our actual object track and you can see that as I scrub through this that it's not actually associated to the actual object track. So to do that, we're gonna click on our suspect text here. We're gonna click on the transform tool over here and up at the top where it says tracker, we're gonna hit this little drop down arrow and we're gonna go under trackers and we're gonna choose object track because that was the name, if you click over here, that was the name of our actual object track that's here. Now we could rename that to whatever we want, but we're just gonna keep it as default. And then if we go back up here and hit that little drop down arrow, we don't actually want to track the rotation. We're only going to track the position. So we're going to untrack rotation. And now we can actually move our text here over so that it's kind of more aligned with the car the way we want it. We'll make it maybe like right there. I'm just going to uncheck that. And if we go all the way back to the beginning here and we play it, you can see, oh, I saw it actually jumped over. So what I don't want is for the text to appear off screen. I'm going to move my text up a little bit so that the text comes in after the object tracker has come in because there's kind of a weird little jump there in the beginning. So I've moved my text up so it starts a little bit later. And then now as we go through and we watch the car, the text now pops up and now it's actually tracking with my car all the way across the screen like I want it to. And we can see it going through the entire scene all the way through the suspect it's following it perfect that's exactly what we wanted to do now that's all there is to object tracking in final cut pro now you could go way deeper into object tracking there's a lot of different cool things you can do and i'll make other videos that cover this topic but i just wanted to give you kind of a quick introduction to object tracking how you would actually add an object tracker and how you can possibly add effects using the object tracker in final cut pro the ability to be able to hold down the command key and choose between object tracker and magnetic mask when you drop an effect onto an actual clip is a really cool feature in final cut pro so that's all there is for object tracking. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I also wanted to remind you that I have a plugin called Glowline. You can check that out right here in my website. You can also check out this video where I walk through how to use the plugin right here. As always, thanks so much for watching the videos. And if you thought that this video was cool, you should definitely check out this one. The ability to switch between object macker and... <laughs>